Okay, so we're going to make a flag, which is a cloth simulation. You start by selecting spline, line, and drawing out the shape of your flag. You don't want to use a rectangle because it actually won't work properly. It won't allow you to do the break step. Because it's a flag, we also need a pole for it to be attached to or it will just fall down. So you want to grab a cylinder, make it however tall you want. So since this doesn't need to bend, you can take away all of the height segments. Going back to our spline, you want to select all of the vertices and go to Geometry, Break. This will keep the integrity of the sides. Without this, it starts to fold in on itself. After you do your break, it's very important to turn off the vertices. If you leave a sub-object selected when adding modifiers, it will try to add it to the sub-object instead of the whole object and cause your project to blow up on itself, worst case, and best case, just have little weird quirks in it. So turn that off. Now, when we're doing cloth, we need to actually add segments for it to bend on. So that's when I apply the garment maker. After that, add a cloth modifier. We're going to attach the cloth to the pole, but to do that, you need to make sure that the line is a cloth and that the cylinder is a collision. So once again, we'll check and see if it's stuck. A lot of times you have to do it twice for it to work. You have to make sure that the cylinder is a collision object and that the line is a cloth. From there, you're actually going to hit the plus sign next to cloth and go to groups. Select the vertices closest to the pole and make them a group. I usually call them attach, but it doesn't actually matter what you call them as long as you remember the name. To have it select, I have to go to sim node, attach. And it should say attach sim node to cylinder. You can check this by going back to the main cloth menu and simulating. Do not simulate local, just simulate. And good. That worked, so erase your simulation. So to keep the flag from falling, you need to add a wind, which can be found in Create, Space Warp, and Wind. Draw the wind the same direction you want the flag to go. Go to Cloth Object, Cloth Forces, find your wind in the scene, and hit OK. Once you simulate, you should see it go up a little. If it's only moving a tiny bit, you'll need to adjust the force of the wind. Last, you want to add materials. Hit M on your keyboard and preload whichever flag you want. Just drag and drop the materials, and then to see them, you can go to where it says Realistic, and then for Materials, go to Realistic Materials with Maps, and they should appear. If you have this, you'll need to add a UVW map onto it. Now, when it simulates, it will move across the image. So what you want to do is drag the map underneath cloth. Once you finish that, you can simulate one more time. And the texture should move with the flag.